Hello and welcome to another episode of Mike and Dave's Hi-Fi Riff. I'm Mike Evans. And I'm David Price. And David, on this week's Riff, what are we going to be talking about? We're going to be reviewing the Lumen D3 streamer mic. And we have one here. We do. As if by magic. But, but... Okay, okay, okay. So we want to issue a kind of musical health warning. <laughs> <laughs> so... Um, I can't believe you're doing this. <laughs> I thought it was just a wind-up. <laughs> no, it's a very serious point, actually, because we just like to say at this point that streaming may not suit your musical lifestyle, <laughs> because we found some... Uh, something that we can't find uh, on the on the internet uh, streaming wise. For, in high, in, in, let's just qualify over that. We haven't looked at some of the streaming platforms like Spotify, for example. Yes, but on Cobas and things like that. Yes, the we, qu- your quality, uh, your quali- streaming platforms, quality, not, yes. not the no. stuff. No, no, we cannot find a copy anywhere of Dennis Waterman's. Actually, I don't know what the album's called. It's called uh, Dennis Waterman. Is it his his self penned yes. first oh, album? No. I beg your pardon. <clears throat> it's uh, so good for you. Okay, okay, yeah, so good for you, mm. and uh, it's not his self penned first solo album. Firstly, oh, I don't. God, I'm not go. sure it's if it's entirely self penned, and secondly, I think it's his third. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, can so. I just say that sad fact of the month that you know how many <laughs> albums Dennis Waterman has done? So, not available on Cobas. There you go. So, oh my gosh, look at that! Look at this! Look at the line of Thinking sleeve. of giving someone a record as a gift? Please don't give them Dennis Waterman. <laughs> no, you're fine, so, thanks. Yeah. So, I'd just like to say that this magnificent uh, piece of vinyl. Uh, has not been replicated for some reason. Someone's forgotten to upload it to any streaming site that we can find. So if you were thinking of buying a Lumin uh, D3 streamer, yes, and uh, and you happen to be a massive Dennis Waterman fan like, like Mike is... <laughs> then don't. So, <laughs> then you're wasting your money. You just go and buy one of these for three quid in the junk shop. How so. did I get palmed off with that? It's your album. You knew how many albums he's had. You knew it wasn't self-penned. You seem to know an awful lot about Dennis Waterman. Well, I particularly... So the thing about this record is that um, it's we all know it's the Minder theme, don't we? So that's great. There was the, a rerun of Minder on yesterday. Yeah, I was watching, yeah. do you believe? Arthur got uh, mugged in his jag by an armed gunman. Oh, wow. In front of two policemen who didn't care. Yeah, I think I remember that, actually. <laughs> but um, I just want to say, though, that this is not just the Minder theme on this album. So... Um, in case you are thinking of getting it via a compilation album on streaming. Um, it's also got such great uh, tracks as Jamaica Woman and um, What You See Is What You Get and finally The Ladies Up To No Good. <coughs> <coughs> and and so this is a go. reason, and you're saying to me, in, in Mike and Dave's Hi-Fi yes. Riff top tip, that's a reason not to buy a Lumen. Absolutely. So, yes. uh, but notwithstanding that, you know, if you if you can live without Dennis Waterman then uh, you should get one of these because they're rather good, aren't they? It's really nice. It it's is. It's really nice, actually. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. This is the Lumin D3. Yes. Which is actually, uh, it's a Hong Kong, a Hong Kong-based company, if, yep. I'm, if, I'm, not, if I'm not yep. incorrect. These, these, I don't think these are made in Hong Kong. I think they're made in China. Um, but um, it says it on the bottom of the box anyway. So... <laughs> Yeah, that's where all my knowledge comes <laughs> Nothing from. Nothing gets past you. <laughs> it used to be cornflake packets, and now yeah. it's bottom of Wi-Fi. <laughs> um, but we, I really like this. I think this yeah. is a really, really nice streamer. Yeah, um, it's kind of compact in size, really nicely put together. Um, feels premium. Yeah, um, and and it sounds great. Yeah, it sounds really yeah. great. And in fact, um, I was going to say. Uh, we were listening to it earlier, but of course we weren't because we couldn't play I Could Be So Good For You by Dennis Waterman on yes. it. But we did play some interesting songs through we it. We did, yep. Um, and uh, we played, um, oh, here we go. We were doing a comparison. We were doing a vinyl streaming comparison. Uh, we were using Alphonse Muson. Yes, yeah, <clears throat> very same. Very same. Yeah. Um, would you like to tell our lovely... Hi for a riffraff, which album and track yeah. we were listening to. So this is um, By All Means by Alphonse Mouzon. And um, as we were saying, um, it's um, as Alphonse Mouzon uh, playing, I think, with um, um, Freddie Hubbard and um, Herbie Hancock. 
So um, Alphonse, Freddy and Herbie, it sounds like a uh, L.A. hairdressers, doesn't it? But uh, there we go. They should um, be on Rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yes. I noticed there's no barcode on this. You've had that a while, no. clearly. So there we go. So this is go. this is on Cobuzz. It is, uh, and, and it sounds yes. very good as well. It does. So let, let's try and get this back to the streaming yeah, review. Good shout. <laughs> yes, we got told off um, on our previous one of yeah. our previous trips because we went we went for six minutes without actually mentioning the product. So whoever yes. said that, apologies. And you're yeah. quite right. You know, yeah. tuning in to watch interesting things about hi-fi. And we. Go off on a bit of a tangent. Well, we were so, doing very we serious uh, comparisons in this case between the Lumin and um, a Technics SL10 uh, yes. turntable playing we'll, this. We'll do a riff on. Yeah, we'll do a riff on that. Yes. So, yeah. Um, and, and actually, um, depending on yeah. how we, we publish the riffs, that might have already happened. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for uh, the continuity <laughs> yes. uh, consultants uh, there. You're welcome. So, yeah, so anyway, so this is... Um, this, this has a particular resonance for us because Mike and I grew up reading uh, Hi-Fi Review magazine uh, edited by Chris Franklin. You know, we are not worthy. Um, and um, hi, Chris. And um, this was one of his favourite albums and it seemed every single thing he ever reviewed. No, that was his only album. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, Love Fantasy. All right. No, well, this isn't Love Fantasy. <clears throat> this is By All Means. So... Well, uh, but yes. uh, th th he had obviously had two had then, two albums, yeah. yeah. Um, but there we go. Um, so, but it's a lovely piece of early seventies kind of jazz funk, uh, if you like that sort of thing. Um, can I? Can I? Yeah. Can I give you a bit of a, a confession here? So you're absolutely right. We grew up on High Fire Review. We both loved Chris Frank, and he review. He always every review was based on how good Alphonse Muson sounded on the system. Yeah. This is the first time I've ever heard Alphonse Muson. Well, there we go. How bad is that? Chris, I'm so sorry. I feel awful. We pray for you um, in your darkness. Mike. Yes, no, quite, quite. Uh, there was someone else who was into who... Um, who uh, ben Sidran. Ben, ben Sidran. Now, I went to see Ben Sidran in Paris because of Chris Franklin. So there we are. So I feel like a little bit of sort of... Um, a, a, a bit of... That's weird. <laughs> well, I happened to be in Paris and he was okay, playing and I went right. to see him because I thought Chris Franklin likes him, okay, so I'll go. Right. So a bit, you didn't go uh, to Paris to see Ben Sandra, and you were No, in I was in Paris, okay, yes. Right. Yeah, yeah. But I feel so sort weird. of slightly sort of um, uh, slightly forgiven by Chris by you know by for yes. not listening to Alphonse moves on before. Well, but it sounded really good. Yeah. It sounded yeah. really good and it sounded lovely through yes. our, our Lumin streamer. Yes. Um and I think this thing does an awful lot of, of of stuff really really well um it, it's it's a lovely smooth sounding yeah. streamer it, it, yeah i think it, so just if i can butt in about please the sound. do please do so um <clears throat> it's it is it's tonally smooth uh maybe slightly ever so slightly on the sort of uh well lit side you know it's not kind of dull um but it's not harsh or hard but it is very, very musically engaging, isn't it? It I really think. is. It's so, punchy. It's dynamic. Yeah. It gets you. Yeah. It gets your feet tapping. Yeah, which is really brilliant. And also, and the first thing we noticed when we switched it on and we, we played our first ten seconds of Alphonse, yeah, was it's got bass. Yeah, it because yeah. we were listening to another couple of streamers as well in our little session here today, and they just were not even close to having any of the bottom end. This, yes. this little chap's. Got. And that's quite so, amazing, considering we were using Mike's quad electrostatics yes. which uh, yeah. aren't uh, you know uh, rolled off at about 200 hertz is it <laughs> we, we were using a proper 80 system actually yeah. because we were using exposure 678 67 super 8 yeah um and electrostatics yeah i thought it sounded really good yeah but then it's my system so yes. i would i would yes well i didn't um, but i didn't say anything <laughs> <laughs> until we put no, dennis I, waterman yeah. on and then he said that sounds fantastic okay <clears throat> yes anyway moving swiftly on yes yes um so yeah so uh, this is um so to me, the, the essence of this is that it's a very nicely made, uh, sort of uh, nicely designed, aesthetically clean uh, product that actually delivers in sonic terms. It's um, it's not a dull and boring and sort of uh, kind of mom, uh, sort of you know vanilla kind no, of um, no. uh, magnolia kind of thing. It's 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 up an atom. It's musical. It's punchy. It's engaging, and it has got surprisingly good bass i think for a streamer so. i think it's lovely yeah. i really do yeah. um I, I we were we were using rune which is why we know dennis waterman we couldn't find dennis waterman because yeah. mike rune 
Um, I used to subscribe to Tidal and Cobas, but yeah. I've swapped to Cobas only now. So it may be that Dennis is yeah. on Tidal, which for you would be a good reason to spend 12 quid a month or whatever <laughs> it may be. But for me personally, yeah. uh, not quite there. Um, so we listened to it through my, through Rune, um, very easy to set up. I used it through a wired, we used a wired connection. Yeah. Do you, have you noticed how long we've gone on this video without me showing the back? Yes, go on then. I know you've been aching to do it. I really have. <laughs> I really have because it's, it's so, well stacked. Yes. Uh, there's lots of really juicy things on yeah. here. So let me talk you through it. So we have got um, unbalanced outputs, which is what we were using to be fair, but there are um, XLRs, balanced XLR outputs, which is really cool. Like that idea. Um, we were using a wired network in here. Couple of other things. So you've got um, you've got some USBs if you wanted to do some external storage yep. too, which I quite like. Yeah. Um, and, and nice stuff. There's no there's no um, DAC out. Yeah. Which mm, may be a bit of an oversight because yep. it's 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 a really nice streaming DAC. There's no two ways about it. But you know, sometimes in the future, if yep. a better DAC comes out, maybe by Lumen, yep. then you might want to you so know, just use it as no, a streamer. No so additional out. Not then. really um, yeah. upgradable. Uh, yep. To be fair. Um, but um, but I like it. I think it's yeah. a, I think it's a really nice really nice product. Price wise, I think it's uh, uh, UK is two one nine five. Okay, uh, which is which is jolly decent yeah. Um, yeah. given the sort of quality of build and and general functionality and connectivity. Um, it's one of those kind of it's not a cheap streamer like the sort of Cambridge Audio stuff that we've done, which is great, but yes, yeah, feels substantially less well made as you would expect. Uh, given the fact it's much cheaper, uh, but this is a sort of—it's almost like a kind of um, Riga Planner Three, isn't it? In the streaming world, if you yes, think of the yeah. sort of top Lin stuff and, yeah, and yeah. so on, is you know <clears throat> many tens of thousands. Yes, um, this and, is and a the, kind of you know high quality, affordable, but not cheap thing. Isn't no, it, I guess? exactly. But, but uh, that's not to say it doesn't have some really stiff competition. Yeah, um, at that price because yeah. there's some good stuff around there. Yeah, um, we we reviewed the Auralek, yeah, um, which is a similar, a little bit yeah. more expensive. Yeah, and we really liked that. Yeah, we thought that was a, a top product. Yeah, I think the Auralek's got a slightly <laughs> smoother sound, hasn't it? Do you think? Um, a slightly the the Auralek's are smooth. Yeah, I mean, there's yeah. no two ways about it. Um, we're going to do a review shortly on the is the Aries. Yeah, um, so. which which is, I mean, six thousand, but super super smooth. I mean, silky smooth. Yeah, and that's sort of their signature, isn't it? Yeah. Whereas I feel this has got a little bit more, um, you know, yeah, a bit more get up and go to it. Yeah, in, it's in got. Some um, respect, interestingly, so. it's got ESS Sabre uh, nine zero two eight Pro DAC, which is you know the sort of latest flavor of the month ESS, and um, uh, I think yeah, I'm not a traditionally a massive fan of of, of the, the, those particular DACs, but. Uh, it works very well. I it think. really does. Yeah. You know, we often talk about this. I think it's so much to do with the implementation. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, and we listened to, recently, we listened to a couple of sort of DACs from the 80s. Yeah. Um, and we were really impressed with how they'd, they'd worked. And yeah. Yeah, we'd heard them in the sort of late 80s and they yeah. were pretty, the implementation was pretty awful. Yeah. And the DAC chips yeah. were fundamentally the same. Yeah. Well, I think, so, I think you know, you can't just say because it's got a DAC made by X, it's going to sound like whatever no, no um, quite, it, quite. It, it, it's kind of ain't what you do it's the way that you do it exactly uh, to a great extent but that's why it's very important obviously to listen to stuff isn't it and um mm. and in this case um i think it's a a very effective uh, performer at the price um, it is it is and it's not just in terms of the sound quality but the um uh you know the general ergonomics and uh and, and sort of uh build and finish but you're not a fan of the app Oh, you like. oh, the app's atrocious. Yeah, yeah. No, the app's just just awful. You, you couldn't really use it. Um, the the uh, that's why I, uh, you know, I'm so pleased it's Rune ready uh, and sort of just plug and play for that. Yeah. Um, but <coughs> it's if you don't want to spend a hundred quid a year on Rune, it's a bit of a deal breaker, I'm afraid, because the app's just atrocious. Um, well, you are a bit of a, <coughs> ru a Rune snob, Mike. Well, I do agree. <laughs> I know, I know, but it's a good platform. You're spoiled because, by Rune, aren't because you? when you because we listen to so many of these sort of devices, and you know, you download the app for most of them, and some of them are so bad. To be fair, the Cambridge Audio one is actually very good. Yeah. Um, but most of them are just pretty poor. I don't even not even a big fan of the Name app, and I know yeah. they've spent an awful lot of money in it. Yep. They'll probably get slated for that, but. I'd still rather use Rune as a very, you know, smooth, seductive interface over yeah. over something, 
you know, over one of the app-based ones. Yep. The other nice thing about Rune is you can control it from multiple devices. So, you know, you've got it on your laptop and your, and your yeah. mobile and everything. So we did something really interesting on here, which was probably something which other people might be interested to, to listen to, which is we listened to the brand new WIM uh, Mini Pro Plus, yep. uh, which keeps you awake at night. Yep. Um, <laughs> there's, a, there's a student joke in there somewhere. There is. Uh, plugged yep. into a two, two grand DAC. Yeah, um, uh, the benchmark DAC yeah. actually in this case, which DAC is a three B DAC three B, which yeah. is one which we really like, and yeah. we, we will do a review of that. And again, also if, has that <clears> same <throat> DAC as this. The yes, it does. Yes, it does. Nine hundred two eight. Interestingly, Pro. it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which makes what I'm going to say maybe even more weird because mm -hmm. this sounded way better. Yeah. Than the Pro Plus driving the benchmark. The the, the, the WIM driving the yeah. benchmark. Yeah, yeah. This was this was much much better. Yeah. Um, and that's not to say we don't like the benchmark DAC because nope. it's really cool. And in fact, the reason so we got onto this because we listened to the WIM without the benchmark. Then yeah. we plugged the benchmark in and went, oh wow, what a difference! That's yeah. worth two grand. Yeah. And then we listened to this. Yeah. And we thought, mm. actually, pretty much the same price. To be fair. Yes. Um, you, you're within a hundred quid of yeah. both systems, but. But I think the the bottom line here is I think I'd rather have this than than upgrade the Wim Pro. Yeah. So. And then after all of that, we then put this on the Techbix SL10, and it sounded better. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. There we go. Actually, that's we're, only, we're, that's we're, only for Dennis Waterman fans, by the way. You know. That, uh, yes, so, that's you. And, you and who else? <laughs> <laughs> you and Dennis. Probably. Don't pretend it's not your record, Mike. <laughs> it's not my record. It's not my record. Oh my god! Busted. Uh, god. <laughs> no, um, sorry, I'm joking. It is actually my record. I did pay money for it. So. I, I find that hard. Well, I don't yeah. find it hard to believe because last time you did yeah. it with Rod Stewart. So you know, what right? Can I say? Okay. So, those these right. well-known hi-fi demo albums. Yes. So. Well, I'm just trying to get away from Nora Jones. You know, who I mean, isn't? Well, absolutely. You know, we've all we've all had too many sort of hi-fi show musical experiences where we really jazz have. at the pawn shop oh, by, yes. you know, yeah. all that kind of... I know, I know. Uh, no, I get it. And yeah. actually, to be fair, it, your Dennis album sounded really good. Yeah. <laughs> it did. It did sound really good. Yes. Um, but sadly, not on this because we couldn't play it. No, so because it's we, not, sure it it's not done. streamable. Sure done. So no. there we are. Um, uh, we're probably yes. going to get slated by people who are into Tidal and, um, yes. and Amazon Music and Apple Music yep. saying it's all there, yeah. you know, so... Well, I, I, I'd be very interested if any any viewers would like to try you know because I kind of think it isn't going to be on there Dennis so. is now going to be number one in the download chart for Christmas yeah he's going to they're going to beat the pogues yeah. <laughs> excellent uh let's do a let's do a reformator on it what do you, what are you going to give yeah us? so I mean for what it is the price that it is etc I'm going to give it a nine I think it would have even got more uh had had the app being an absolute peach, but but it isn't. Quite, That's a really high um, score from you. Well, yeah, I mean, I, you know, um, it's it's uh, again, um, it's one of those products that's just very good at the price, works very well all around, and it sounds good. It was very musically enjoyable. It was dynamic and punchy. It had a lovely kind of grippy bass, didn't it? Sure, um, sure. And not too, you know, it's not it's not sort of too harsh or or, or sort of uh, you know bright. It's it's reasonably well totally balanced so yeah uh, nice bit of kit i think i agree and yeah. and and we talked we, we mentioned just very briefly about some competition and there is yeah. some because aurelec make a stream which is a very yep. similar price yep. which we like yep name unity atom yep. headphone edition yep. which i personally own yep. and paid my hard-earned cash for yep. which i really like um and that does something slightly different though, because that's a genuine preamp yeah um yeah right, but but I, th I think this is terrific and i'm gonna i'm gonna join you and yeah. i'm gonna say exactly the same thing for exactly the same reason yeah nine out of ten dropping a point because the app is not, yeah. not good for me i'm afraid so yeah. if the app works for you fantastic but for me it wasn't my cup of tea at all yeah so there we are that's a great score yeah that's a really you know good what? score. i mean you know they've been a kind of um trendy brand um and uh, for a couple of years now and i, I can see why yeah um they're, yeah, they're no, very totally decent and you know a big a big um a big rival for Oralic definitely but mm. it's well worth a b doing an a b comparison if you can between that and the i think it's the g 1.1 i think but uh, mm. and a shame know, we couldn't uh, do the a b comparison between the technics and the 
Dennis Waterman streaming. But there we are. Oh, it was good. Anyway. I think it could be so good for you, Mike. <laughs> Do you know, I've been waiting 20 minutes for that. <laughs> I'm glad I remembered and it. And on that note, thank you so much for watching this episode of Mike and Dave's High Five Riff. We'll see you at the next one. Thanks very much. Bye. Bye. <laughs>